Hi guys, I'm the Cube Solver. I know that you came here because you are struggling to solve these last two pair of edges in a 7x7 seven seven cube. You can't just simply pair it because you can't exchange it with any of these pair around which are already correct. This is what you have to do. Face it like this, you have to see this two pairs at the top. Place the two incorrect edge pieces on the right. If it's not possible, like in this case, this one is on the left you have to reverse the arrangement of the edge pieces. So do this algorithm. Front, up prime, right, and up. Now both of the incorrect edges are on the right. In this case, only one edge piece on each side should be exchanged. And take note that it is on the side. For you to remember it better, when you move this edge piece to the other side, it will be corrected and it's the same to the other side. In this step, we just have to place the edges on the proper side and not yet on their proper orientation. Now do this algorithm. LW prime U2, LW prime U2, F2, LW prime F2, RW, U2, RW prime U2, LW2. In this case, it would just be the same because our goal is to bring the edge pieces with the same color together and not on their proper orientation yet. You just have to do the algorithm that I thought earlier. And it will be the same with the next cases that we will encounter. In this case, two edge pieces on each side should be exchanged. Align the four incorrect edge pieces on the right. And if it's not possible, do the algorithm that we did earlier to reverse the position of the edges. For you to remember it better, when you move these two edge pieces to this side, it will be corrected and it's the same to the other side. Since that there are two incorrect edges for each side, these two inner layers will be moved according to the algorithm. So let's do it. 3LW prime U2, 3LW prime U2, F2, 3LW prime, F2, 3RW, U2, 3RW prime, U2, and 3LW2. In this case, only one edge piece on each side should be exchanged, but take note that it is on the middle. Align the two incorrect edge pieces on the right, and if it's not possible, do the algorithm that we did earlier to reverse the position of the edges. For you to remember it better, when you move this edge piece to the side, it will be corrected. And it's also the same with this yellow-red side. Since the incorrect one is on the middle, we will also only move this middle layer, the third one from the left. Now do this algorithm. L3 prime U2, L3 prime U2, F2, L3 prime, F2, R3, U2, R3 prime, U2, L3, Any combination of the first cases may happen. Unfortunately, you may still do the same algorithm. Like in this case, where there is two incorrect at the outer side, and there are four incorrect at the another outer side. Do the algorithm first to solve this two at the outer side, and then do the algorithm to solve this four at this side. But remember that you can do it regardless of which algorithm will be done first. It's all up to you. But I'll start with this two outer edges. If you are wondering on where will be the yellow blue side or the yellow red side, just follow the color of the middlemost edge piece. So in this case, this side should be yellow red. That will be more efficient. Now do the algorithm. LW prime U2, LW prime U2, F2, LW prime F2. RW, U2, RW prime, U2, LW2. Now we'll move on solving this other two. So let's just turn the top side 180 degrees. So this four edge pieces will be on the right side. 3LW prime, U2, 3LW prime, U2, F2, 3LW prime, F2, 3RW, U2, 3RW prime, U2, and 3LW2. 
this is another case wherein there is incorrect at the middle and there is also another at the side. Do the algorithm first to solve these two at the outer side and then do the algorithm for the middle. But remember that you can do it regardless of which algorithm will be done first. It's all up to you but I'll start with these outer edges. Again, if you are wondering on where will be the yellow blue side or the yellow red side, just follow the color of the middlemost edge piece. So in this case, this side should be yellow blue. That will be more efficient. Now do the algorithm. LW prime U2, LW prime U2, F2, LW prime F2, RW, U2, RW prime U2, LW2. Now let's move on solving this one in the middle. So I'll just turn the top side 180 degrees. So both of these edge pieces will be on the right side. L3 prime U2, L3 prime U2, F2, L3 prime F2, R3 U2, R3 prime U2, L3 2. This is another case wherein there are two incorrect for both sides and there is one at the middle. You can solve it regardless of which algorithm will be done first. It's all up to you, but I'll start with this two at the outer side. Again, if you are wondering on where will be the yellow blue side or the yellow red side, just follow the color of the middlemost edge piece. So in this case, it is yellow red. Now do the algorithm. 3LW prime U2. 3LW prime U2, F2, 3RW prime F2, 3RW U2, 3RW prime U2, 3LW2. So now let's move on solving this one at the middle. So I'll just turn the top side 180 degrees. So both of these edges will be on the right side. L3 prime U2, L3 prime U2, F2. L3 prime F2 R3 U2 R3 prime U2 and L3 2 If the outer edge pieces of both sides are incorrect like in this case you have to do the algorithm for correcting outer edge pieces twice therefore we will be moving this layers LW prime U2 LW prime U2, F2, LW prime F2, RW, U2, RW prime U2, and LW2. So we will repeat the algorithm for this side. LW prime U2, LW prime U2, F2, LW prime F2, RW, U2, RW prime, U2, and LW2. If the middlemost edge piece of both sides are incorrect, like in this case yellow blue and then yellow red here, you have to consider the other four pieces on each side as incorrect instead. You have to do the algorithm for correcting two incorrect on each side twice. Therefore, we will be moving these layers. 3LW prime, U2. 3LW prime U2 F2 3LW prime F2 3RW U2 3RW prime U2 and 3LW2 So we'll be repeating the algorithm for this side 3LW prime U2 3LW prime U2 F2 3LW prime F2 3RW, U2, 3RW prime, U2, and 3LW2. If the inner edge pieces on both sides are incorrect, except this middlemost one, you have to do the algorithm for correcting inner edge pieces twice. Therefore, we will be moving this layer. So first, we will exchange this two, and then later on, we will also exchange this two. L3 prime, U2. L3 prime U2 F2 L3 prime F2 R3 U2 R3 prime U2 
NL3 2. So let's just turn the top side 180 degrees. So both of these edge pieces will be on the right side. L3 prime U2, L3 prime U2 F2, L3 prime F2 R3 U2, R3 prime U2 and L3 2. Just a reminder, in all of the cases, the orientation is not important yet because we are just solving first for the correct pairing of the edges. Then if you already correctly pair the edges like this and you have this flip edges or maybe like this or like this, you have an edge parity. I suggest you to watch my 7x7 edge parity tutorial. If you have an edge parity on both sides like this or maybe like this, or like this. I suggest you to watch my 7x7 2 edge parties tutorial. That's it, we're done. If you manage to solve it, please leave a like in this tutorial, tell your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.